So this is the double tap feature with the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2. So if you have one of those or a newer watch, this feature will work for you to perform various tasks like scrolling, answering calls, and responding to messages. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use double tap with your Apple Watch. Let's get started. So if you're looking to use the new double tap feature with your Apple Watch Series 9, Apple Watch Ultra, or newer Apple Watch, you do need to have the appropriate software installed. So what you need to do first is open the watch application on your iPhone. It should look like this one right here. You wanna tap on general, and then you wanna tap on software update. Let it search and you'll see which version of watch OS you have. Now you need to have 10.1 or newer. So depending on when you are watching this video, you may have to use a beta software to get the 10.1 before everybody else. So for example, if I just turn this off, this is probably what yours will look like, but you'll see a different version that's before 10.1. So if you wanna get this now, you can tap beta updates, turn on the public beta of watchOS 10, and then tap the back button, it's gonna search, it'll pop up with that update and you can run the update. But if you're here and the full version is available, you'll see 10.1, just run that update and you should be good to go. Now, once you have that installed automatically on the Apple Watch, it's going to then work. You just basically double tap and it's going to perform various actions. But there's a lot you can do with this double tap feature, so it's best that you watch this video so you know how it works completely. So for starters, double tap is just by double tapping your fingers like this and it's using the muscle spasms in your sort of wrist here to trigger it. And you do need to have it unlocked. So if it's locked sort of like, see how it's dark? If I double tap, nothing happens, which is good because you don't want this thing activating stuff while you're walking around. So when you pull it back up and it brightens up and you double tap, it'll perform this action here, which opens up the widgets and you can continue tapping just like this and it'll scroll through all your widgets, giving you the information from all of those widgets you have there. So I would strongly recommend you add as many as you can there to take advantage of this feature. Now, with that being said, you do have some settings you can use. So open the settings on your Apple Watch, scroll down and you'll see an option for gestures, tap on that. And this is where you can configure the double tap so we'll just tap on double tap. Like I said, it's on by default. If you wanna turn it off, you can just tap there. It'll turn it off. It's also giving you a brief description right here of what it does. So basically tapping your index finger and thumb together twice to answer calls, reply to messages, see your smart stack, which are the widgets and more. So we can scroll down as well and configure some of these options. So if you're listening to music, you can choose to have it play or pause when you double tap, or you can have it skip. So if you wanna skip ahead to the next song, I probably would use the skip. In the gym, it's probably better for me. Smart stack here, advance and select. So this is what the smart stack is gonna be useful for you. So if you like the fact that when you are on this page and you double tap, this smart stack goes like this. When you double tap it again, it'll just kind of scroll between them. But if you want it to open the first stack that you have there, what you do in the settings here is you have it set to select. So for example, now we have our smart stack. So when we double tap, it's going to bring up the smart stack and double tap again. It'll open the first option, which in this case is the calendar. And that way you can select it. So what you would do in that case is with your smart stack, make sure that the one you always use or want to open is always the first one. That way you can select it. You can no longer scroll with the double tap. So that's the select option right there in the settings. I'm just gonna leave it on advance and that's it. That's all you have with double tap here in terms of configurations. And let's go through how it would work, let's say with a music app. So on the Apple Watch now, as you can see right here, we have it playing some sports in that Vancouver option. If I double tap, it's going to stop it. And if I double tap again on my finger, it's going to play it. So just so you can see it one more time, it'll play and stop. Now, if I did have skip selected, it would skip ahead depending on how I have my music set up. And that'll work with any kind of songs in your playlist and things like that with the Apple Music. Now, with that being said, if you have music playing from, let's say, a different platform, like we have YouTube Music here, and we'll just tap on one of these to play it. And if we double tap now, for some reason, it doesn't work. But that's going to be the case with a lot of these apps because they have to sort of configure themselves to work with this feature. But over time, I'm hoping again that all the applications will somehow work with this double tap. But you'll have to play around with them as you go to see if they'll work. 
Now, if you do ever receive, let's say, a text message from someone, for example, we have a test here, it'll open up the text as soon as you raise your wrist. If you double tap, it's going to bring you right down to the search box here and you can start talking and send your message that way. It's very tedious, very responsive. Also, if you double tap here, it'll send it, pop up right there, and it sends it right away. So you really wanna be careful how you use that. Uh, just so that you don't send something that you don't mean to send. But that's how that'll work with messages. Also, anytime you have the messaging app open, you can just double tap your fingers. It'll bring you down to the text box, double tap again. And just like before, you can send your message, start talking. And then as soon as you stop, give it a double tap, it'll send the message right there, just like that. Now, another feature with double tap, if you have your iPhone here and you have your Apple Watch available to you as well, is the camera app. So you just wanna find the camera app on your Apple Watch here, just kind of scroll around until you find it, open it up. It'll open up the camera app on your Apple Watch as well as on the iPhone itself. But you can actually double tap on your fingers. It's going to start the shutter, so it's actually recording here on this, iPhone so we can see the recording times right there is started and you can do the same thing on the Apple watch right here to stop it so you can stop the recording at the same time so it works pretty well keep in mind depending on how you have your iPhone camera settings set up I have mine to always open to the last option I used which is usually video but if you had it on photo it will work the same It'll be taking a photo rather than a video when you double tap. And in the case of the Apple Watch, it always has a timer. So you have time to prepare for the photo. Now this will also work when you receive other notifications, you'll double tap and it'll open those notifications. But at this point, it's just limited to these kinds of things, scrolling, opening your notifications, and then playing with the music app that Apple provides. Like I said, we're hoping down the road more applications will take advantage of this, very much like Dynamic Island. A lot of apps at the beginning didn't use it, and now apps are taking advantage of it, even on other phones or using similar options like that. So we'll see that coming out in the near future. Like I said, if you don't wanna get this option right now, you don't have to. You can wait for the full version to be available, unless it's available already. And you can always go to the general tab, software update. And if you do decide to use the watch OS 10.1 beta option, you can turn it off as well once you have it installed and it'll just update to the full version and give you the option to do so if it needs when the full version is available. But that's how you're going to use double tap on the Apple Watch Series 9, Apple Watch Ultra 2, or even a newer Apple Watch. So if this helped, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. There's tons of Apple Watch tips, tricks, and tutorials on the channel. So if you wanna learn more, check it out. And as always, I will see you in the next one.